Tory MPs have been defending Rishi Sunak and his decision to reappoint Suella Braverman as Home Secretary. She, of course, came under fire because of her admitted breach of security in her resignation letter to Liz Truss. Why is the appointment of Suella Braverman proving so controversial then? Well, our South West reporter Jeff Moody is in her constituency of Fairham. Uh, Jeff, thanks for joining us. Uh, what's the mood on the ground in Suella's constituency? Well, there are several issues, Tom, that people are talking to me about this morning. Firstly, there is this breach of ministerial uh, conduct. Um, some saying, look, it wasn't particularly serious. She sent out an email late at night from the wrong email account. But others saying, look, this was a serious breach. And there's all sorts of questions about her integrity surrounding this. Um, some people read an article in a, in a Sunday newspaper this week that said that she's been lying about it, that it's a more serious breach than we first heard, that she didn't go immediately to the Prime Minister like she said she did. All sorts of uh, murky uh, goings on as to, as to exactly what happened. And some people are saying, look, this is the last thing that a new Prime Minister needs, especially as he stood on the steps of Downing Street whew, this time yesterday, less than this time yesterday, to, to say, look, we're going to govern with integrity now, with honesty now, with professionalism now. And then he immediately appointed somebody uh, where all three of those issues have been put into question only in the last week. Then there's the issue of a coup. What happened six days ago arguably uh, was the straw that broke the camel's back in terms of Liz Truss's premiership. Um, so we now have a situation where the Prime Minister, some say, was very influential in the dethroning, the deposing of Boris Johnson back in the summer. The Home Secretary was someone that was very influential just a week ago in deposing, dethroning uh, Liz Truss as Prime Minister. So some people are saying, you know, the coup is complete. This is indeed a coup and shouldn't be allowed. And, and then, of course, there's the issues of the policy, the, the Rwanda policy, hugely controversial, um, as is the whole issue of immigration. So people here are uh, very confused, I would say, very conflicted. They like her personally. They like the, what she stands for within their constituency, but very worried indeed about this issue of integrity.